Hello, so I'm back for a bit of an update on the pond after the last video. A quick recap, if you haven't seen the last video, I basically moved all of my bio um, pond media over into the new filter system, uh, during which it stirred up the pond. You couldn't see an inch into the water, um, and it, I left the drum filter to try and clean up the mess. Uh, so I'm just giving a little bit of an update on how it's got on, okay? Um, and short answer is, yes, it's working. Long answer is, I have to do a lot to keep it working. So I can't really film outside at the moment because it is really windy. So I'll see if I can get some shots and uh, just insert it over the top of me talking. So let's start with the first problem that I had with this uh, drum filter. So this is the drum, um, it's a Queenie Koi, I think it's a 25 model, I'm not exactly sure, I can't remember now. First thing I had to do was adjust this float level, okay, nothing to do, it's not the drum's fault, but basically what was happening is with the water so um, black as it was, this drum was triggering continuously and between the times of it cleaning and resetting, the water was dropping too low and it was turning the pump off because it's plugged into the controller. So I had to lower the switch down so that the triggers weren't so frequent between the um, cleaning cycles, which sorted it out, okay? It was triggering all of the time, every sort of 30 seconds to a minute or so, um, but it wasn't allowing it to drain low enough to disable the pump system completely. Okay, so that was the first problem that I had. So the second issue I had was these electrics. Now, I did mention it at the start of the last video. I had a power outage in the shed where all the electrics cut out. It was an extremely stormy day um, or night, I should say, when they did cut out. But I just put it down to that, and it had run fine since. But with the drum running consistently, these electrics were just continuously tripping out. When the pump kicked in to clean the drum cycle, it was tripping the electrics out. Now, what I had powering the um, shed was like a resettable trip. So that I could disable the electrics if needs be, and if they did blow, just reset it. Now, I think this was a bit of a, a weak spot um, in the system. So, I obviously you can see I've removed that one, and I've put in a proper, like a fused, still a switched, but it's like a fused, um, with a hard fuse in the system, like a spur. And that has, um, since then, has cured all of my electric issues. Now as you can see in the bio chamber there is a lot of debris on all of the filter and down in the bottom there. In theory that shouldn't have got there because the drum filter is here but because the electrics kept tripping I had to disable the function of the drum um, but I still need the pump running to obviously keep all the bio alive not too much of a problem this time of year but obviously i wanted this pump circulating to, for it all to work so i had to take out the drum out of action um, and just have it plugged in to run the pump and i there are some bypasses on the drum to bypass the mesh okay um, and I, I had to do that basically until I got these electrics sorted. So it did mean that some dirt and debris, as you can see some down the back of the drum there, lots in here, you can see it in the, in the skimmer and you can see it in this bio chamber um, here as well. And uh, it's all just settled in there. Um, yeah, nothing I could really do about that. So. Yeah, I'll just get a vacuum, I think, or like a siphon or something, and just clean out the tops of these sections, just to take the worst of it out. It's not harming anything, but it just looks a little bit untidy. 
So, with the electric sorted and this uh, drum height level sorted, which, to be fair, I have reset back to the position. Now it's all running okay. Um, the drum has been running fine. I don't know if you could blame the drum for the electrics tripping or just down to the fact that it was uh, one of these resettable switches. Make your own mind up on that one. But it is all running absolutely fine and has been for uh, probably about five days now, six, uh, yeah, about five days since I reset the electrics. Now, I will say that not all of the pond water is flowing through the drum. I have a bottom drain, which is running into the old bio chamber, and I have a skimmer, which is feeding the drum. Okay, so the stuff at the bottom... It's only in there because I'm afraid of the water freezing up if we have any cold spells being middle of December. Well, nearly near the end now, I guess. But um, yeah, so I want to keep it running. So the pump is still running, moving water through it. Okay, so uh, it's not taking the full load of the pond. But that being said, let's go and have a look at the clarity. So there's not much to say about this you can see for yourselves it's all nice and clear good visibility i can't say it's any better or worse than the filter i had on there before um but i'm certainly happy with how it how it looks definitely not worse than what it ever was um i can see right to the bottom and see the fish nice and clearly seem to be happy enough just having a little bit of food this time of year but um yeah so in the actual filter the old filter uh, you can see all of the debris that's been sat at the bottom. Now this would have been sat there because it doesn't have a deep clean or didn't have deep cleans. So this is what I'm hoping to not have to do with the drum filter. So there we go. There's a quick little update and a little bit of waffle on how I've got on with this uh, drum filter. Now I didn't see anywhere in the instructions about not using a like resettable trip on the um, on the electrics, maybe there was. I, can't, I don't know now. I don't know. Whichever way you could, uh, if you want to blame the drum for tripping the electrics, you can do. But it's been fine. And one thing I would say, if you have got this type of drum or are thinking of getting it, make sure it's not on a like resettable, um, it's like RCA. Is it? I, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Um, make sure it's a proper fused spur connection. Um, other than that, with the heavy use that it has done, um, because the water was just black, essentially, then, um, yeah, it's done really well. It's cleaned up the water very nicely. It's been functioning, it's been cleaning, it's been cycling. Uh, the float level's not missed a beat um, once I set it up correctly. So, yeah, overall, for the heavy use that it's done over this past sort of um, week, although, to be fair, probably cleaned up in a probably about three to four days. Um, I couldn't see it because I was getting home after work at night, but it was you could see it getting cleaner and cleaner. But uh, yeah, it's been five days since the electrics have been fixed anyway. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how it's been performing anyway. And I hope it gives you a little bit of insight into the drum, if it is something that you were thinking about getting. Um, just a couple of things to be aware of, really. So anyway, it's getting close to Christmas. I'm going to obviously have a good time at Christmas and same to all you lads out there um, and a good new year. I will update you in the new year when I think I will be removing the old bio chamber and replumbing the bottom drain into the drum filter so then I can finally close up this hole in the bottom of the shed here. This um, letting all the draft in. So have a good one guys. I will see you next year.